Hi there, I'm Teacher Jim, and in my video today here, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the different types of sounds, okay? So if you look on the board I have here, we have voiced and unvoiced sounds, and also stop and continuous sounds. Now, many people may not even know what these types of sounds are or why it even matters, but it's actually really important to know these types of sounds because a lot of times when, when kids are taught with the incorrect sounds, they can have some blending difficulties and some reading difficulties with those incorrect sounds, okay? Um, a lot of times with the struggling readers I've worked with, what I've found is that, you know, they might have learned incorrect sounds at home, at school, or maybe from YouTube videos where they tend to add an ending ah uh, sound to every single letter sound and everything comes out with an ending ah uh, behind it. And when you try to blend sounds together to read the word, it just doesn't work, okay? So let's take a look at the chart I have here. So we have two columns. We have voiced sounds, unvoiced sounds, and then for the rows, we have stop sounds and continuous sounds, okay? I've also categorized all the letters here for you. And so I'm gonna explain what a voiced and unvoiced sound is, okay? So, you know, when we speak, voice comes out of our throat, our vocal cords here. So if you just take your three fingers here and just put it on your throat, when you speak, you will feel it vibrate, okay? So when, when your throat vibrates, the sound is voiced, okay? So let's try a sound, you know, let's try the letter A. So if you go, letter A makes the ah sound. So if, you, if we stretch it, we go ah, you can feel your throat vibrating, okay? Let's try another one. How about maybe letter B, which is a voiced stop sound. So it's b, 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 okay? Now, the opposite of voice sound is unvoiced sound, and that's when your throat does not vibrate at all. So if we try some of these sounds over here, so letter C makes the k sound. So if you put your fingers on your throat again, you go k, k. You'll find that it's just a quick puff of air. There's no vibration in your throat, okay? And how about letter F? Letter F makes the f sound. Same thing, let's try it. There's no vibration in your throat. It's just, you're just blowing air continuously through your mouth, okay? Now, the other two types of sounds are, are stop sounds and continuous sounds. This is actually really important to know because what tends to happen is that, you know, at home, at school, YouTube videos, people make every single sound into a continuous sound. They add an ending uh after it. So, you know, with all the stop sounds here, they, they put it all down here by adding an ending uh after it, okay? A stop sound is when you try to make the sound, it's, it's a really quick sound, you can't stretch it. And when you try to stretch it, you're losing air so fast that it just doesn't work. So let's try some of those sounds. You know, let's try maybe duh. So it's duh, duh. If you try to stretch it, duh, you know, you, you, you lose air so fast that it just doesn't work. How about let's try that, some, some unvoiced stop sounds. Maybe, how about letter P? Okay, letter P makes a p sound. P, p. It's just a really quick puff of air, but if you actually try to stretch it, you go p. You still can't stretch it because you're losing air too fast. So what tends to happen was, you know, when people try to stretch these sounds, they add an ending ah uh, after it, and that is incorrect because, you know, you can't, you can't stretch it. You lose air too fast, so they add an ah uh, after it, and they make it into a continuous sound. They go b, d, g, j. And, and so on, and you, you know, don't do that, okay? Now, with continuous sounds, it's easy because it's continuous. You can stretch it for a long time. So let's try, you know, A. A makes ass, and you go, ah, okay? How about, how about letter O? Letter O, short O makes the aw sound, aw. You know, it's very easy to stretch. How about letter U? Makes the ah uh sound, ah. Uh. It's, you know, it's, it's very easy to stretch. Same thing, if you go unvoiced, sounds with letter F, S, and X. Let's try letter S. It's an unvoiced sound because if you put your fingers on your throat again, it's But at the same time, it's continuous because you know you can stretch it for a long time. Let's try it again. Please just remember, don't add ending a sound after these, okay? That's it, see you next time.